The face of Harmony Montgomery is haunting. You wouldn't know it from her big smile, but her five short years on this earth were marked with abuse from the one person that was supposed to be protecting her. Years after she disappeared, newly released court documents reveal horrifying answers about the little girl's last days. Let's recap. Welcome to True Crime Recaps, I'm Chris. Social workers in Manchester, New Hampshire were the last people to see Harmony Montgomery, besides her immediate family, that is. In October 2019, Children's Services stopped by the apartment where she lived with her father Adam, stepmother Kayla, and her two younger half-brothers. A little less than two months later, Harmony would be dead, but it would take two more years before she was reported missing. If anyone asked, both Adam and Kayla would say Harmony was with her mother Crystal in Massachusetts but it was Crystal who reported her missing. So why did it take so long to notice the little girl was gone? Well, the answer to that is complicated. The last time Crystal saw her daughter was on a FaceTime call in April 2019. For the next two years, she had no contact with Harmony. According to her, Adam and Kayla blocked her calls and her social media. Crystal and her family kept trying to get in touch, even calling social services dozens of times. But Adam and Kayla moved around a lot, and Harmony wasn't enrolled in school. Then, in November 2021, Crystal reported Harmony missing. Police searched for the five-year-old for months, hoping for a happy ending. But sadly, this isn't that kind of story. Newly released court documents reveal more pieces to this puzzling mystery. In early December 2019, Harmony, Adam, Kayla, and their two little boys, both under the age of three, had been evicted from their apartment and were living in their Chrysler Sebring. A living situation like that with three little kids stuck in a car is going to create a lot of issues. One of those issues is the bathroom situation. When a five-year-old has to go, she has to go. Well, on December 7th, Harmony had a potty accident in the car. It wasn't the first time, but according to Kayla, it would be her last. Harmony was in the back seat. Her dad was behind the wheel. When Adam realized she had another accident, he half-turned and punched his daughter over and over in the head with his closed fist. She moaned in pain for about five minutes, then went limp and silent. Allegedly, he said, I think I really hurt her this time. I did something. Adam hurt his little girl a lot during her short life. In July 2019, another family member saw Harmony with a black eye and called child services. Adam had admitted he bashed her around the house after he found her baby brother crying while she was in charge. And that wasn't the only punishment he gave the little girl. Sometimes she'd be forced to stand in a corner for hours. Other times he made her scrub the toilet with her toothbrush. He never showed any concern about the pain he was putting her through, and if Kayla's statements to the police are accurate, then the attack in the car was no different. They'd been on their way to Burger King when he pummeled her. According to the affidavit, they didn't notice the child was dead until around noon when the Sebring broke down on the side of the road. Neither Adam or Kayla suggested getting help or calling the police. Instead, Adam allegedly put Harmony's body in an Under Armour duffel bag and stored her in the trunk of the car for a few days. If anyone asked, they said she was living with her mother again. While the family moved from place to place over the next several months, Harmony's body moved with them. At some point, according to the probable cause affidavit, they ended up sharing an apartment with Kayla's mother. Harmony's duffel bag coffin was stuffed in a cooler and kept in the building's hallway until the end of December 2019. Their next stop was a transitional housing shelter, and yes, Harmony's body came with them. The duffel bag with her body in it was stashed inside a ceiling vent in their room. When detectives followed up on Kayla's statement, they found stains and the telltale smell of decomp in the ceiling vent, just as she said. Now, you're probably wondering how they got away with it for so long. A decomposing body isn't easy to hide. According to Kayla, it was starting to be a problem. Liquid was starting to leak out of the bag, and the smell was hard to explain. A garbage bag was wrapped around the duffel to keep it from leaking. When the family moved into their next apartment, Harmony's body, now in a plastic box, came with them. Adam loaded it into a stroller and put pushed it to their new address. From there, the box went into a closet, then the refrigerator. Then, Kayla told police at some point, Adam took the duffel bag into the bathroom and turned on the shower. He didn't come out for hours. When he did, Harmony's body was in a small maternity tote bag from the Catholic Medical Center, the kind of thing they give to new moms. Harmony was a small girl, but the only way she would have fit in that maternity bag was if her body was 
dismembered or grossly distorted according to the probable cause affidavit. This isn't the first time Adam has been suspected of extreme violence. On February 10th, 2008, when he was 18, he allegedly agreed to meet up with a 28-year-old father of three at the White Hen Convenience Store in Lynn, Massachusetts. The reasons why or how he was mixed up with Adam are unclear. We do know he never left that parking lot. The store's owner said they heard him arguing with another man before he was shot dead. Unfortunately, he couldn't make out the shooter. But Boston 25 News reported Adam Montgomery was the top suspect. Later that same year, Adam robbed two women at gunpoint in their apartment and stabbed a guy in the leg and pushed him out of a moving car during a drug deal gone wrong. Six years after that, he shot a man in the head during another botched drug deal. Then in February 2019, Adam got sole custody of Harmony after Crystal lost custody for substance abuse issues. Almost exactly a year later, he was allegedly playing a twisted version of Hot Potato with her body. At some point, Adam allegedly stored the gruesome maternity bag in the walk-in cooler at the Portland Pie Company, where he worked as a dishwasher and line cook. It's hard to understand the logistics of something like that, but according to the affidavit, his co-workers remember seeing the bag in the cooler for a week or so. The next time Adam moved her body, he allegedly had a bag of lime and a U-Haul. Where exactly he took her after the restaurant in Manchester, only Adam knows for sure, and he's still not talking. But the Department of Transportation is filling in some of the pieces for him. The U-Haul he was driving ran three tolls on March 3rd, 2020. Two of those were on Tobin Bridge in Massachusetts, about an hour outside of Manchester, New Hampshire. Sadly, Harmony's body is still missing. In 2022, Adam was arrested for the child abuse charges stemming from the July 2019 assault. He's still in prison for that, but now he's looking at second-degree murder charges, falsifying physical evidence, and abuse of a corpse. He's pleading not guilty. Kayla told the police everything she knows as part of a plea deal. And that's your recap. Thanks for hanging out with us today. If you like getting all the crime in half the time, go ahead and tap that subscribe button and the bell so you never miss a story. We're here Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, but don't go away. Catch up on more recaps right here, right now. Until next time, take care.